to show you a couple neat ideas for ways to use markers in Articulate Storyline to show some on-demand content or contextual information, because sometimes you just need a quick way to package some content so that learners can basically help themselves, and markers are a fantastic solution for that. So check out this example. On this slide, I want to provide my audience with some do's and don'ts and also some supporting information about all of these specific topics here. And markers are perfect for this because you can arrange them however you want. I've got mine in these three columns, and this is going to give my learners a really quick way to find exactly what they need. They don't have to wade through a whole bunch of text or bullet points or visit multiple slides. Um, they really can just very quickly explore this single slide and zero in on exactly the content that they're looking for. And actually, in this example, we've even made it faster for the learner because they don't even need to click. We've opted to show all the content when they hover. So they find what they need, they look at the label, they move the mouse away, and the label closes. So it's a super simple but effective way to serve up these little bits of content on demand. So in Storyline, here's what that slide looks like. We insert the markers just the way that we normally would. So up on the Insert tab, we just choose Marker and then select one of the symbols and then click to add it to the slide, and then we can customize from there. And what we did with these is we used the title of the marker label for all of the content because by default, that title is what appears as soon as the mouse hovers over. And since we only had a little snippet of text to show, that totally made sense. In fact, if we select one of these markers and stretch the label out, you can see that all the text is in the title. And here's the placeholder where we'd normally you know, add some detail text if we wanted to. But since I didn't need that, I just tightened this up so that it was not there. And now when the learner hovers over the marker, they see the entire content of the text right here. Now, if you did have some descriptive text or a picture or a movie that you wanted to show on hover and you didn't want the learner to have to click, that's easy to do too. What you can do is stretch the label out and you can add your content right here. I'll just add some placeholder text and you could of course add a movie or a picture as well. And then with the marker and label selected, if you come up to the format tab, you can select show all on hover. And now if we preview this slide, we should see that for that particular marker, when we hover over it, the entire content of the label appears. So that's kind of a nice option. Now one more example of another flexible way to display some contextual information is on this scenario slide. On this one, we've got a free form interaction and we're using markers down here at the bottom to kind of supplement the question. So basically, learners need to choose one of these three characters to answer the question, but to do that, they first need to listen to each character's statements to figure out who they're gonna choose. And that's where the markers come in. These are actually audio only markers. And so the learner can click to listen. I'll go ahead and click on this one. You can hear some audio play and then the learner can you know, click a different one if they want to. They can listen to that guy's audio and then they can continue to listen to any or all of the audio markers until they have enough information to make their choice. And of course, once they're ready, they can choose a character and then you know hit the submit button to get their feedback. So in Storyline, here's how you can insert an audio only marker. I've got a couple already done here and now we'll go ahead and add the third one. If I was building this for real, I'd probably just copy you know one of these existing markers here and then switch out the audio, but I'll do it from scratch for this third one just so that you can see. So up here on the insert tab, we'll choose marker and then for the symbol, I opted for this little speaker symbol and we'll just click on the slide to insert it. That looks pretty good. And you don't even have to worry about the label. You can even just shrink this down or do whatever you want to it. The learner won't even see this because what we're going to do is come up to the format tab and mark this box that says audio only. That means no label is going to appear when the learner hovers or clicks. And now we need to add the sound. So up here on the format tab, we'll choose sound and we could either record it in Storyline or we could bring it in from a file, which is what I'm going to do. Got a little file right here, and that's all we need to do. So now if we preview the slide, when we click on that particular marker, we should hear some audio start to play. Yeah, there's a page. And we do. So that's how an audio only marker works. So there you go. Those are a couple more marker ideas that you can put in your e-learning toolkit when you need a really quick way to give your learners some on-demand content.